My mother first told me of Rathdrum about a year ago. Since then it's haunted me. I'll let her words speak for themselves, for herself. I'll let her listen. There's a town called Rathdrum, Idaho, and apparently it's famous for its satanic worship or just weird stuff going on. You know, human chains across the highway, stopping cars. You know, I don't, I don't know where these people, if they, if they go away or if they just maybe don't, you know, I don't know, if somebody sees it but they don't report it. I don't know. How could she know? How could any of us? But apparently there's a church in town and there was blood thrown on the, on the doors. And some people say it said something I'm not sure, so. But apparently, animal sacrifice, weird things happening when people are driving by, seeing things just out of the corner of their eye, like darting away from the road, uh, strange lights, like like a fire off in the distance. Huh? So I just I just have heard that there's satanic worship in Rathdrum. Satanic worship has never been proven, but. A history of strange worship practices dates at the very least back to the first Googleable mention of Rathdrum, Idaho in the newspaper archives when a man was found on the main street of Rathdrum preaching, buck naked. He was arrested and taken into custody after being wrapped in a horse blanket. He was later found insane by a medical committee. And so it began. In the autumn of 1932, a disappearance notice. In the summer of 1950, a humble community continues to ask questions. In the mid-1970s, a couple went missing and were later found killed, which I'm addressing without a jokey voice because those are real people and it's unfortunate that their tragic deaths fed the completely unrelated rumors of satanic worship, but it seems from reading through more comprehensive folklore-centric papers that that was an aspect the rumor spread, so it needed to be mentioned. Later in the 70s, further unrest would erupt with the arrival of a conservative Catholic dissident group known as the Tridentines, who came to build a community and worship a more traditional branch of Catholicism, but were compared by locals to the Jonestown cult. March 18, 1979 would bring an article from the Spokane Daily Chronicle detailing the findings of two hikers who discovered crosses and mutilated animals after hearing chanting voices in the distance. The exact location was never revealed, only that it was north of Spokane. Easily commutable for any self-respecting Satanist with a set of wheels. Coincidence? This period, from about 1974 to 1979, marks the heyday of the Satanic rumors, as all further articles seem to merely be dissecting the folklore and how it began. The legend may be fading, but the question remains. What the hell? Was it real? Is anything real? Am I? And further, is it over? I leave you with the harrowing journey that my mother took through Rathdrum. When I was in college, we drove through and we saw a church and we all freaked out because we thought it was the church. And uh, I, I don't remember, I think we saw somebody scary. <laughs> and he just looked at us and didn't speak, which seemed really weird, but it was totally normal. And I just, I was like, no. 